Law Camp Cries Fraud Over Nevada Caucus Results. And this is from the examiner.com. And um, this kind of goes with our whole saying of the, the media telling you Ron Paul can't win. And this is very interesting. It goes through a timetable. Let's go to the first quote, which takes place at 1.30 a.m. CNN and precinct captain revealed the results of the second count. This time, Ron Paul's count was roughly 183, 58% of the precinct's overall vote, to Mitt Romney's 45, New Gingrich's 20, and Santorum's 8. These are votes. <clears throat> if the media wasn't blacking out the coverage now, we could actually share these actual numbers with our readers. Paul supporters are ecstatic knowing that they won and overwhelmingly in a precinct of Jewish and extremely Christian voters, two of Paul's r worst demographics. In fact, CNN interest polls showed that Ron Paul won overwhelmingly among voters who weren't religious. Let's move on to 135. Your Arthur and thousands of others of Ron Paul supporters are still waiting to be able to do a simple math deduction that if Ron Paul won 58% of the vote in Clark County, and that was representative of his performance countywide, he should have won Nevada easily. If uh, he won 58% of the vote with 53% outstanding in that county, compared to Mitt Romney's 47, so it should have been a Ron Paul win, right? Well, at 145, CNN blacks out election coverage, shutting down the studio without so much as a word or explanation or warning, switching to human interest stories with an afternoon anchor for 10 minutes. The network shut all live coverage completely, opting instead to rebroadcast the entire night's early evening coverage where they were reporting on a Romney victory with merely 3% of the vote. So we have a clip. Somebody uh, shot this off YouTube, and this is basically the results of that particular caucus, which, of course, is not indicative of the rest of Nevada because those people completely didn't vote the way these people did. Here's the results. Be out. Uh, but here's what happened, Don. Here's the final count. 100, uh, 183 for Ron Paul, 61 for Mitt Romney, 57 for Newt Gingrich, and 16 for Rick Santorum. Behind me right now, these are Republican Party officials from Clark County. You can see the votes are right over there, right above those boxes. They're going to take them downtown to the party HQ, and they're going to be added to the county totals, and then, of course, they'll be added to the total totals for the state. So he's got an overwhelming win in this one precinct where he wasn't even supposed to be doing that good with Jewish and Catholic voters, yet the rest of Nevada magically votes for Mitt Romney. So old Mittens wins. And here's another interesting thing we found on a Facebook post. We'll go to this graph. And it shows the percentages of Ron Paul from 2008 to 2012. He's got a 120% increase in Iowa a 210% increase in New Hampshire, a 385% increase in South Carolina, an 86% increase in Florida, oh, in Nevada, only a 1.4% increase. And this is a place where, if you remember back in 2008, they actually shut down the primary because there were so many Ron Paul supporters there, and they were wanting to vote Ron Paul in. They were wanting to give him the delegates, even though I think technically Mittens won the caucus, but Ron Paul had his people in, they went through the process, and then it gets to the end, and the Republican, the Republican establishment just shut it down. I think we have an article here over on the big screen. So here we are back in 2008. Ron Paul backers outmaneuver Nevada GOP establishment. Outmaneuvered by raucous G, uh, Ron Paul supporters, Nevada Republican Party leaders shut down their weekend state convention. And so then they went ahead, and, and what they did was have it in a secret area, and then gave it the vote to Mittens Romney. So that's the kind of stuff that's going to keep happening to Ron Paul over and over again as we go through. Now they're kind of predicting that Santorum is going to somehow win in Minnesota. Yeah, right. If you believe that, i got a bridge to nowhere in Alaska to sell you.